Y'all, it's finally happening! After nearly 10 years since the release of FNAF 2, we've just gotten word that Funko's finally making merchandise based on the Withered animatronics. Thanks to Scarlet Joker, we know that a new FNAF Funko Pop Wave featuring the Withered and Mangle will be hitting store shelves next spring in 2025. With these figures being based on the characters from the games and not the upcoming Blumhouse film, but reportedly the wave will feature pop figures of Withered Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and then a 6 inch tall figure of Mangle. Previous Obviously, Withered Bonnie was the only Withered character to have a Funko Pop, but with the Withereds finally showing up in the 10th anniversary Mystery Minis wave, as well as the new Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop of the Puppet, it sounds like Funko's finally listening to the fans, it seems like they're going all the way back to FNAF 2, and giving us figures of characters that we've wanted for so, so many years at this point. So I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the Withered animatronics finally getting Funko Pops in spring of 2025, but of course, that is not the only FNAF news we'll be talking about today, so let's move right along to wishing a happy the anniversary to Freddy and Friends on tour. This was the promotional series made by Steel Wool promoting the upcoming release of Security Breach. And the other day, believe it or not, it turned three years old. Steel Wool celebrated by showcasing this brand new art of the Freddy and Friends on tour cast. It was like just yesterday we were going frame by frame in those videos looking for brand new characters for Security Breach. Briefly touching upon some book news now, we got the official cover for the FNAF Stickerpedia, a book releasing on the 6th of May 2025, featuring over 100 stickers, blueprints, trivia, and easter eggs. This fresh new format is sure to attract Freddy fans of all ages. And now moving on to merchandise, first up we have U2s in the news, because recently they were showing off a whole bunch of upcoming figures, though of course most importantly in the center, we have a brand new figure, this time a buddy monitor figure of Chica. These are little figures that you can put on top of your desktop monitor or other screens. Recently they released some Chipper and Sons monitor buddies, so it seems like now we're getting some FNAF monitor buddies. And then in terms of other upcoming figures, we have a brand new figure of Springtrap on the way, with U2 showing off this brand new, very creepy figure of Springtrap, with this design being based on one of the rare screens you can get when starting FNAF 3. So that FNAF 3 wave is coming up pretty soon, that'll also include some figures and plushies of the Phantom animatronics. And then speaking of Springtrap, let's move on to some Hex news, because recently they showed off a brand new t-shirt featuring a design of Springtrap, with the text, I survived Fazbear's Fright. On the back, they even have a tagline for the attraction saying bring back your childhood in the worst way possible. This brand new Springtrap t-shirt as well as the Springtrap hoodie will be releasing soon alongside the Nightmare Own wave. Of course you have the plushie of Nightmare Own as well as their collectible card with this plushie featuring LED lights with replaceable batteries in the back of their head, posable limbs, and even magnetic hands. Though also for the wave you've got the pin and t-shirt we've seen previously as well as a brand new hat featuring the character with this entire wave releasing very creepily on Friday the 13th, September 13th. And then also for Hex News, a prototype plushie of the cupcake was spotted in the background of one of Daco's videos, with this design being based on the cupcake's appearance in the FNAF movie. And because of that, actually, the plushie's mouth can be opened, though what you're seeing right now is a pretty early prototype, with the shape of the plushie, the placement of the eyes, as well as the color all being adjusted for the final release. And then lastly, for Hex News, at PAX West, Daco was actually carrying around a pin of Ennard, where he's holding the sweet, succulent, exotic butters. We do know that Ennard has a plushie and t-shirt on the way as well. Previously, we've heard that Ennard will have his own separate special release, and we've also heard that next up for Hex will be getting the release of the Funtime animatronics. Previously, we've seen the plushies of Baby as well as Funtime Foxy, Funtime Freddy, and Ballora should also be included in that wave. And then briefly touching upon Cloak, they've released a brand new FNAF collection titled Unsung Heroes. This collection includes a Foxy denim jacket, the Puppets Cardigan, a King of FNAF varsity jacket, a Lefty onesie, as well as a 100 piece FNAF 1 through 4 puzzle. Now usually with Cloak these collections only last a week so I'd recommend picking something up quick if you spot something you like. We're almost done with the merchandise news but first up let's take a look at the brand new Tubbs Ducks. Now previously we were able to check out the brand new Freddy Fazbear as well as Foxy Ducks. Though finally we have the entire cast revealed with the Bonnie as well as Chica Tubbs Ducks also being revealed. It looks like the regular size FNAF Tub Ducks will feature the characters with their iconic props but then the mini ducks will just be the characters themselves. And all of these ducks just look absolutely adorable. I'm absolutely gonna be adding Freddy Fazbear to my bubble bath. And then lastly, for merchandise news, we have FYE. Because recently they have released yet another Fizzy Faz drink. This time the flavor is Rockin' Grape with Roxanne on the bottle. Now this is actually the second Roxanne drink they've released after last year's Roxy Cola. Though I guess now that Roxanne has her own Fizzy Faz that completes the Glamrock Fizzy Faz collection. And they've also released 
a Toy Chica acrylic cup, which actually also completes yet another collection. Drinking the Roxanne juice in the Toy Chica mug? Can't ask for a better evening. And then very lastly, for FYE news, they've released some puzzles featuring the Withereds as well as Mangle yet again. Some really fascinating new art of the characters with these micro puzzles. I believe they each go for like 10 bucks, so hey, shout out to more Withered merchandise. And then speaking of FNAF 2, Deregular Sauce has showed off some behind the scenes of the puppet animatronic that was up on display as a prop at this year's PAX West booth. We took a look at some of the behind the scenes of the Jackie prop, the Caution Bot, as well as Roxanne in a previous FNAF news video. So it's absolutely amazing to get some behind the scenes of the puppet because that was one of my favorite props from this year's booth. And then for the 10th anniversary, it was revealed that FNAF would be joining the fight in Dead by Daylight, with that update not coming until summer of 2025. Recently, however, on a live stream, some of the folks at Dead by Daylight did very briefly acknowledge the upcoming collab. Uh, we just wanted to say, since the last show, we made a big announcement and uh, we wanted to see, say to you, we've seen all your comments, your excitement about the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, announcement, um, but I also wanted to say we can't say anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apart from it's coming in summer 2025, and you'll have to stay tuned in the new year for more information, so hang tight. FNAF folks. So they didn't really reveal much. They basically just said, hold tight, things are coming. But it does seem like once we enter 2025, the new year, we should get some brand new info on the upcoming collaboration. And then speaking of things that have been long awaited, the console ports for Into the Pit are finally on their way. With Mega Cat Studios the other day tweeting out, we are approved with all patches in all regions for console release. And even have a final date approved by the Scott Games team to go live. We will make an announcement as soon as we have approved to share the release date. We're doing everything we can to give all console players the best version of the game possible on console launch day, including all fan requests, bug fixes, and quality of life updates. All consoles will also launch in all regions on the same day. So very soon, expect Into the Pit to be released on Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and even the Nintendo Switch. And then lastly for FNAF news today, we have got to talk about the brand new updates in regards to the second FNAF movie, but very quickly a photo op for the first FNAF movie has been put up at Universal Hollywood. Apparently this is located at the very end of the world famous studio tour. I've seen some speculation that this is a lead up to Halloween Horror Nights, however it doesn't seem like FNAF will be present this year. We've seen a few Blumhouse's experiences revealed for this year's Halloween Horror Nights, those including the upcoming Wolfman film, with Megan, The Purge, and The Black Phone making an appearance on the Blumhouse Terror Tram, but unfortunately it seems like FNAF is only only getting a photo op this time. It seems like next year would be a better opportunity for a FNAF attraction anyway. With Halloween Horror Nights happening in October, a few months later the second FNAF movie releases, just makes more sense in my opinion for FNAF to have a larger presence for next year. But then lastly for the first FNAF movie, a glow in the dark DVD cover will be releasing soon for Walmart. Walmart does these alternate DVD covers every now and then, seems like this launch is getting ready for Halloween. Alright well now let's move on to the second FNAF movie, which while it is still over a year away, releasing on the 5th of December 2025. We've already gotten a pretty good look at the cast of animatronics for the movie, and while recently we just got confirmation of a cast member returning for the second film from the first movie, and that is of course Elizabeth Lale, who plays Vanessa Shelley. Spoilers, but at the end of the first movie we did see her get stabbed by William and then she got sent to the hospital, but based on this post by Elizabeth it does seem like Vanessa will survive her injuries and will return as a main character in the second film. We also got the apparent age rating for the movie revealed, thanks to Daniel RPK, who has been a very reliable leaker in the past, especially for these FNAF films. They say that the film will once again be sporting that PG-13 rating, though also reiterating from a previous reveal that the film still aims to deliver a larger focus on horror after feedback and criticism from the first FNAF movie. And let's be honest here, I don't think anyone should be shocked by this news. The first movie did insanely well for a PG-13 rating. The best we can hope for is that they really take in that criticism of the lack of horror from the first movie and apply it into the second film. I mean, with the Withers and Mangle in this movie, there is a lot of scare factor with those characters. So while it is being reported that the movie will be PG-13 again, I still think it's going to be a lot more scarier and horror focused this time around. And then lastly, for updates on the second FNAF movie, thanks to an exclusive scoop provided by Collider, they have revealed that filming for FNAF 2 will begin at the end of October. It's not really much of an exclusive scoop, huh? Because we have already known this for quite a few 
months now, but that does officially confirm because this is an exclusive scoop, meaning it did come from Blumhouse or Universal. This does confirm that the second FNAF movie is filming end of October, which again, I know we knew, but it's nice to get it as official news. And if you missed that previous coverage, reportedly, filming for the movie will take place between October 28th through January 31st, with the film operating under the working title Music Box. All that info and more we've talked about in a previous FNAF news video, but that's gonna do it for today's FNAF news video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.